So my TV went out and apparently it glitched at the ending of Flash and at the beginning of Legends. I missed the first three minutes of the new Legends episode, which I'm hoping not a lot has happened in those three minutes. I'll be able to catch up on that real quick. Um, however, I did miss the final however many scenes of the season finale of The Flash. So <laughs> I'll try to figure out what happened. Maybe I'll try to look up recaps and just read what happened. Um, and then watch it later. Uh, but for now, I'm going to just jump right into Legends and then maybe talk about The Flash before I get into my Legends recap at the end of my reaction. This is fun. I, I love that this is happening for this episode. This is where it started, so if I missed anything in the first three or four minutes... Whoop-de-doop! Oh gosh. Oh boy, I'm so excited. Everybody look around you. This could be your new family. The ones you turn to for support. Sisterhood. Where? Replace this drink. If I wanted weak tea, I'd rush Omega. Oh. This girl's fire. I like that. <laughs> Let me start with your table. I'm going to ask a question, and when you're holding the paddle, it's your turn to answer. Okay. I feel like Zari would be absolutely perfect for this assignment. What did you do for college? And I don't know why she's not here. So I grew up in hell, had minions do my bidding, <laughs> and rose to power till I practically ran the play. You think you're better than the sisters you ran away from, but the truth is, you're all the same. She's it's a little bit rich, isn't it? Coming from my sister's lap dog. <laughs> this whole table is exiled. We love you. Our theta material. Ah, oh, sucks for the other girls. I mean, but then again, I wouldn't want to join this sorority anyway. As the mission go, you immortal sorority girls yet? <sighs> I need a drink. Ooh, the refreshing sound of failure. <laughs> Oh, this is this is so much better. I love that Sarah's just here and is just like cool with anything that's gonna happen. I have a feeling that that's gonna come into play. Voted out of Pep for amazing. one to pick up the cup. I feel like it might be her. But then again, it might be Nate. Yeah, that her right there, honestly, will just take you back to the glory days and make you forget all about that stupid and stressful world out there. Honestly, it's magic, bro. Yeah, I, um, I just need to uh, check up. It's literally magic. No show like Legends.
you. I was just ashamed of me. What are you talking about? Don't be stupid, you're great. You don't have to impress these idiots, these leeches. You're twice the person that ever be. Yeah, so are you. I mean, you fought a demon dog. And these people think that they're better than us because they have whales on their shorts? What do you say we find a way to piss off some rich kids? I like the sound of that. dress as a moose or sit through one of your interminable team meetings. That's fine! I'm still got a place for you. Did you come to work it down? No one comes to get the chalice and you. But there is one way to get college kids to leave a party. A better party. Please don't say that is to throw an even bigger party. Which means that is probably being cooler. She's having fun. Oh, I love it. I love that Ash was bonding with everybody. I like that we still have a bit of hacker Zari. Ooh, buddy. I challenge you to be She's blind, but she's going to win. I love that Sarah has powers now. It's just so cool. Such a gem. Oh my gosh, so cute. Why don't we all just drink from it? I mean, you said there only has to be three fates, right? Yeah, we can all use the one together. Yeah, you're not alone in this lot. Yeah, hey, mortality sounds pretty epic. <laughs> Let's drink. Let's all do it then. Cool. Ooh. Cool. Oh, wow. You are all glowing. Mmm, I'm something I don't know. Hello, traitor. <sighs> yeah. When you asked for my help killing John Constantine, I warned you you would be in my debt. Well, honey, I'm calling you the fail. Damn it! I knew this was gonna bite us in the ass at a certain point. Okay, so I just read a recap, thank you, TV line, for The Flash. Oh, yeah, oh. Uh -huh. that's that's a stupid awesome. commercial. Shh, shh, shh. Anyway, so I just read what happened, and it looks like Joe is out of Witsec, um, and Iris cracked open to somewhere. Uh, I don't know where. I'm interested to see if the whole... You know, being in the mirror world is supposed to mess with your brain chemistry. I'm wondering if that'll affect Iris as a character long term. I would like it to. I'm always for character changes in a show that's been going on for a while because it doesn't make the character stale. And I have and I have been feeling that with the Flash for a while now. I feel like they need to change some of the I don't know, just change something up in the cast in order to make it feel fresh again. And Iris adapting new traits due to this mirror world would be really cool. Um, the Sue Dearborn stuff along with the Ralph stuff is so fun for me. The chemistry between the two of them is fantastic. And I love... I just love their storyline. If there was a spinoff show with just the two of them, I'd watch that in a heartbeat. I'd actually be more excited about that than The Flash. Um, the Magneto-like death of Carver was cool. Um, the glass going through Barry to hit Carver. That was pretty brutal. You know, Flash has... Flash, I think, lost its, some of its brutality after season two with Zoom. And it's no longer... 
as scary to watch the show or no, you don't you don't feel fear with these characters anymore and the fact that they did that I feel like was pretty it reminded me a little bit of how they would handle character deaths in season two or one or even three kind of but mainly season two and one um what else happened Caitlin it's funny because you know if everything would have been not the way it was and we would have had a full season we would have not had Caitlyn for about four or five episodes, but now since it, the season ended prematurely, I have a feeling that Caitlyn will probably appear relatively soon in season seven, maybe in the first episode, when really we would have not had her for a while. Uh, but I'm wondering, because last season we had that moment with Caitlyn's mom and her eyes glowed white, right? So will that come into play? play with everything that's going on I would like that to be something that they introduce next season say we are two episodes into season seven and then we have a whole Caitlyn centric episode along with her mom I feel like that would be cool uh anything else Nash and Allegra made nice I read in the in the recap so that's cool um am I missing anything I don't really know I think that's it. Overall, this is probably is probably my least favorite. I don't even know. Was the last season my least favorite season? I think last season got elevated a little bit because of the reverse flash stuff that happened in the season. So I think this was my least favorite season of the flash. Probably, yeah, I think this was. So, I mean, it wasn't awful, but it wasn't my favorite, obviously. So I guess we'll see where it goes later on and when it'll come back. Um, but anyway, uh, Legends is still, right now I'm doing this in a commercial break. Actually, I can see that Legends is on right now. So um, I'm going to watch the ending of Legends. But you, you already saw my reaction to that. Uh, but this is just, you know, we're... I, this is going to cut to me talking about Legends right now. Okay, so that was Legends of Tomorrow. I don't remember. Probably the title is probably the uh, sorority name. Um, fun episode. Lighthearted episode. I think we... What was last week's episode? Oh, last week's episode was Ship Broken. This was a nice kind of levity to all of the real stuff that's been happening. I mean, between Bay Rods and just the demon dog. <laughs> it's been a lot. And we're kind of getting used to Astra being on the ship and her becoming a part of the team. Um, however, the end with one of the sisters, I don't remember her name, uh, coming to collect her debt is a bit problematic. Um, I, we, I said, I mean, we all kind of figured that that would eventually bite us in the ass, and it has. Uh, I don't know what that would entail. I mean, I'm assuming it's work for her. Um, but I, I don't know. I mean, huh, I don't know. Um, we had some cool stuff with Shotgun Nate, which is just so ridiculous. Um, we had Dion this episode, a Greek god. I would love, I like how they're incorporating things that are out of worldly or historical into everything that's going on because it still has that legends twist of traveling through time but just in a very leveled legends way um i love the video that they make and i love that the three outcast girls who normally wouldn't be together at all are all starting their own sorority and that's super cool um but yeah just a really fun episode uh a little, a little flirtation between Zarya and Constantine this episode. Just kind of, you know, having that be undercurrented. Will that go anywhere? Maybe. Probably. Possibly. I don't see it not. Um, Sarah's still blind, but she is utilizing it very greatly because she's able to see things that uh, potentially are going to help the team, which exactly what she did whenever she played beer pong. Um... But yeah, I, I love the fact that she has something uh, to that uh, element to her character now, you know, uh, especially the fact that she's been through everything that she's been through and she's still kicking and she's still thriving and is the captain of the Wave Rider and now she has super cool powers, even though she's a bit blind and that's a bit inconvenient. Uh, but then again, she's an assassin, trained by the League of Assassins. 
pretty pretty damn well off. Uh, yeah. Uh, oh, and then Nick and Lita had really cool bonding moments this episode, so we'll see where that goes. I have a feeling that they're just going to, you know, dive deeper into the relationship and become more father daughtery, and it's super, super sweet to see. Mm, I think that's everything. So thank you guys for watching this week's episode with me, and I will see you next time for more Legends. No more Flash, just Legends. Um, yeah, that's gonna be weird. Not really. I'm super, I'm just excited for more Legends. I don't know how many episodes we have left. I think we'll probably, I don't know, maybe uh, six or seven is my guess, because we just finished episode, oh wait, maybe not. Actually, no, six or seven seems right. Or about five, five or six, I don't know. If anyone knows the episode count, let me know. That'd be great. Uh, the camera battery's flashing. I'm so surprised that it hasn't gone off already yet because that always seems to happen whenever I'm talking. Uh, but yeah, I was able to get through this scot-free, exactly how Legend says. They keep talking, keep doing things, and they're able to do anything. Okay, I'm not gonna jinx this. Alright, bye everyone. See you next time.